Have you ever wondered why the Cold War, a conflict that never ignited into a full-blown war, is still so significant in our history? It's a question that piques curiosity, doesn't it? This silent battle between superpowers, spanning nearly half a century, has left indelible marks on our world. In this video, we're going to delve into 10 essential facts about the Cold War, unraveling the mysteries of this intense period. So buckle up. Stay tuned as we peel back the layers of this complex period of history. Our journey begins in the aftermath of World War II, as the dust settled on the ravages of the most devastating conflict in human history, two superpowers emerged, standing on opposite sides of a great ideological divide, the United States and the Soviet Union. The United States championed capitalism and democracy, a system promising freedom and individualism. Meanwhile, the Soviet Union espoused the virtues of communism, a state-controlled system aimed at achieving equality among its citizens. These two vastly different ideologies were not just incompatible, they were destined to clash. In the heart of Europe, Germany became the epicenter of this brewing conflict. The victors of World War II divided the nation into two halves. The West, controlled by the United States, the United Kingdom and France, advocated for a democratic and capitalist Germany. The East, under the rule of the Soviet Union, was molded into a communist state. This division of Germany was not just a geographic partition, it was a symbolic representation of the ideological divide between the East and the West a divide that would come to define the second half of the 20th century, and thus the stage was set for a conflict unlike any the world had seen before. A war not fought with bullets and bombs, but with ideas and influence. A war that would be remembered as the Cold War. The year 1946 marked a turning point in global politics. This was the year when Winston Churchill, the former Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, delivered a speech that would forever change the world's perception of the East-West Divide. In a small college in Missouri, Churchill uttered the phrase that would define an era. From Stettin in the Baltic to Trieste in the Adriatic, an Iron Curtain has descended across the continent. This phrase, the Iron Curtain, encapsulates the division of Europe into two distinct blocks, the Western Bloc and the Eastern Bloc. The Western Bloc, led by the United States and its NATO allies, championed democracy and capitalism. On the other side, the Eastern Bloc, under the influence of the Soviet Union, was a stronghold for communism. Churchill's words were not just a simple observation, they were a clear and stark warning about the ideological divide that was forming, a divide that would lead to one of the most significant geopolitical struggles of the 20th century. The Iron Curtain symbolized more than just a physical barrier, it represented the ideological, political, and military divide between the West and the East, a divide that would shape international relations for decades. So when we talk about the Cold War, the Iron Curtain is not just a metaphor. It was a tangible, albeit invisible, barrier that separated two worlds with opposing ideologies. With the Iron Curtain, the world was officially divided. In the shadow of this division, a perilous race began, a race not of speed or strength, but one of power and fear the nuclear arms race. This was a competition for supremacy in nuclear warfare between two superpowers of the time, the United States and the Soviet Union. In the late 40s, the United States was the only country with nuclear capabilities. But by 1949, the Soviets had developed their own atomic bomb, leveling the playing field. This marked the beginning of an era that would be defined by a chilling concept, mutually assured destruction. The idea behind mutually assured destruction often abbreviated as MAD, was quite simple, yet terrifying. If either the United States or the Soviet Union launched a nuclear attack, the other would respond with equal or greater force. This would lead to the total destruction of both nations and potentially the world. The theory was that neither side would dare to launch a first strike knowing the inevitable catastrophic retaliation. The arms race escalated in the early 50s with the creation of the hydrogen bomb, a weapon far more powerful than the atomic bomb. The United States detonated the first H-bomb in 1952, with the Soviets following suit a year later. This terrifying new technology multiplied the destructive power of nuclear weapons, further fueling the fear and tension of the Cold War era. The arms race was not just about creating more powerful weapons, but also about building enough to ensure the other side's total destruction. 
This led to a massive buildup of nuclear weapons on both sides. By the mid-80s, it's estimated that there were over 70,000 nuclear warheads globally, with the vast majority owned by the United States and the Soviet Union. The world was in a constant state of tension, teetering on the brink of nuclear war. The nuclear arms race had turned the globe into a powder keg, with the two superpowers holding the matches. The Cold War was not just a battle of ideologies, but a struggle for survival in the nuclear age. But the competition wasn't just confined to Earth. As the Cold War brewed on terrestrial soil, an entirely different race was taking place miles above in the vast expanse of space. This was the space race, a cosmic contest between the United States and the Soviet Union that was as much about technological prowess as it was about ideological supremacy. The first major milestone in this race was the launch of Sputnik by the Soviet Union on October 4, 1957. This was the first artificial satellite to orbit Earth and it was a significant achievement for the Soviets. Sputnik's successful launch was a shock to the Western world and it sent a clear message. The Soviet Union was not just a threat on Earth, but also in space. This event ignited a sense of urgency within the United States. The competition was on and the stakes were astronomically high. This led to an acceleration of America's space program and the creation of NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. The crowning achievement of the space race, however, was the Apollo 11 moon landing on July 20th, 1969. The triumphant words of astronaut Neil Armstrong, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind, resonated around the globe, marking a significant victory for the United States. This event was more than just a technological marvel. It was a symbolic assertion of America's ideological and scientific superiority. The space race was a dramatic manifestation of the Cold War's competitive nature. It was a contest that was watched by the entire world, filled with suspense, triumph, and heartbreak. It symbolized the grandeur of human achievement and the relentless pursuit of progress even amidst political tensions. The repercussions of this race are still felt today as countries around the world continue to explore the mysteries of space, driven by the same spirit of curiosity and competition that fueled the space race. The Cold War had officially reached the stars, while the superpowers never clashed directly their battles were fought on other soils. This statement sets the stage for our discussion about proxy wars, a key component of the Cold War. Even though the United States and the Soviet Union didn't directly engage in combat, they found other ways to flex their military muscles and spread their ideologies. This was done through proxy wars, which are essentially conflicts between two states or non-state actors, where each side is supported by a major power, and these major powers do not directly fight each other. Proxy wars were the superpowers way of battling without risking a full-scale war that could potentially escalate to nuclear disaster. The Korean War from 1950 to 1953 was one of the first instances of a Cold War proxy war. After World War II, Korea was divided into two, with the North backed by the Soviets and the South supported by the US when North Korea invaded South Korea it was seen as a direct challenge to the United States policy of containment, aiming to prevent communism from spreading. The ensuing war resulted in a stalemate and the continued division of Korea. Fast forward to the 60s and 70s, and we find another significant proxy war, the Vietnam War. This time it was the communist North Vietnam, supported by the Soviet Union and China, against South Vietnam, backed by the United States. The war was a drawn-out, brutal conflict that had a profound impact on American society. Despite the heavy involvement of the U.S., the war ended in 1975 with the fall of Saigon to the north, marking a significant blow to American foreign policy. These are just two examples of the many proxy wars fought during the Cold War era. Other conflicts included the Angolan Civil War, the Soviet-Afghan War, and numerous uprisings and interventions in Latin America. These wars, though not fought on American or Soviet soil, were nonetheless battles of the Cold War, with ideologies rather than territory being the prize at stake. Through these wars, the Cold War's impact was felt worldwide. It was a global struggle, with the repercussions of these proxy wars leaving lasting effects on the countries involved and shaping the geopolitical landscape we see today. 
In 1989, a symbol of division would come tumbling down. The Berlin Wall, an emblem of the Cold War's stark divide, had been standing for over 28 years. It was more than just a physical barrier between East and West Berlin. It symbolized a world split in two, a stark contrast between the ideals of democracy and communism. The 1980s brought about a shift in the political landscape of the Soviet Union. Under the leadership of Mikhail Gorbachev, policies of Glasnost and Perestroika were introduced, aimed at openness and economic restructuring. These changes rippled through the Eastern Bloc, sparking a desire for freedom among the people. In East Germany, this desire was palpable. Protests swelled in the streets as citizens demanded their rights. The pressure was mounting, and on November 9, 1989, an announcement was made that would change the course of history. The East German government declared that all citizens could visit West Germany and West Berlin. People flocked to the wall in droves, disbelief giving way to jubilation. They chipped away at the concrete, tearing down the symbol of their confinement. The images of Germans from both sides standing atop the wall, their joyous celebration echoing through the night, became an iconic symbol of freedom's triumph. The fall of the Berlin Wall was not just a victory for the Germans, it was a beacon of hope for the world. It signaled the end of a divided Germany, paving the way for the reunification that took place less than a year later. More broadly, it marked a critical turning point in the Cold War, a tangible sign that the Iron Curtain was unraveling. The wall's fall had profound global implications, signaling the beginning of a new era. It was the domino that set off a chain of events, leading to the dissolution of the Soviet Union and the end of the Cold War era. The world watched as the impossible became reality, as a symbol of division was transformed into a symbol of unity and freedom. This marked the beginning of the end for the Cold War. In 1991, the world watched as a superpower crumbled. The Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, a colossus that had once commanded the world stage, was dissolving. The reasons behind this monumental collapse were as complex as they were varied. Economic factors played a significant role. The USSR's command economy, with its emphasis on heavy industry and military production, was ill-suited to meet the needs of its citizens. Consumer goods were scarce and quality was often poor. The economy was further strained by the cost of maintaining the USSR's vast military and its commitments abroad. Political factors, too, were pivotal. The policy of glasnost or openness introduced by Mikhail Gorbachev in the mid-80s had unintended consequences. It allowed for public criticism of the government, which in turn exposed the depth of corruption and inefficiency within the Soviet system. This led to a loss of faith in the Communist Party and its ideology. Nationalist sentiments within the USSR's many republics also contributed to its downfall. As the central government weakened, these republics began to assert their independence, leading to a fracturing of the Union. The fall of the Berlin Wall in 1989 had signaled the beginning of the end for the USSR, but the final blow came in 1991 when a failed coup by hardline communists accelerated its demise. The coup was intended to oust Gorbachev and reverse his reforms, but it backfired spectacularly, leading instead to the disintegration of the USSR. The collapse of the Soviet Union had profound implications for the Cold War. It signaled the end of the ideological conflict that had defined the second half of the 20th century. The two superpowers that had once faced off were no more. The United States stood alone as the world's sole superpower marking the beginning of a new era. With the dissolution of the USSR, the Cold War had officially come to an end. The world had changed, and the geopolitical landscape with it. This momentous event marked a turning point in world history, the effects of which are still being felt today. The Cold War may be over, but its effects are still felt today. This era of political and military tension between two world superpowers, the United States and the Soviet Union, spanning over four decades, left an indelible imprint on the world. The legacy of the Cold War is complex and multifaceted, influencing global politics, technology, and society in ways that continue to shape our lives. In the realm of international relations, the Cold War gave birth to a new world order, shifting power dynamics and creating an intricate web of alliances and rivalries. 
The bipolar world of the Cold War era has morphed into a multipolar world, with numerous powerful nations influencing global politics. In the sphere of technology, the Cold War spurred groundbreaking advancements, especially in the fields of aerospace and nuclear energy. The intense competition, particularly evident in the space race, led to technological leaps that still impact numerous sectors today, from telecommunications to medicine and beyond. Societally, the Cold War influenced cultures, ideologies, and politics across the globe. It painted a picture of stark contrast, East versus West, communism versus capitalism, and these dichotomies continue to reverberate in our societies. The Cold War, a conflict that never became a hot war, changed the world in ways we still feel today. Its legacy is a testament to the profound and lasting impact of geopolitical struggles on the course of human history. We've traversed a fascinating and tumultuous period of history together. From the dawn of the Cold War, marked by rising tensions, to the descent of the Iron Curtain, we've raced through the nuclear arms and space races and navigated the waters of proxy wars. We've watched the Berlin Wall fall and witnessed the dissolution of the USSR. And finally, we've grappled with the enduring legacy of this intense period. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the Cold War. Until next time, keep exploring history.